On this episode, we will see the process of restoring an antique pocket watch. Deciding whether or not to restore a vintage watch is a tough decision to make. The internet is awash with tales of watches butchered by an incompetent independent watchmaker or worse still, the brand itself. The questions seem endless, however, being educated on the subject can remove most of the confusion shrouding the issues at hand. We will get this one out of the way early, as it is by far the most controversial. The general consensus in this area is don't do it, as polishing the case of a vintage timepiece is very likely to devalue it. If in any doubt, don't do it. You can always have it refinished later, but you can't undo what has already been done. If the decision is to refinish, it's crucial to understand there are varying degrees of refinishing. Some watchmakers are masters of their craft and others are hacks. So, if you decide to go to refinishing road, it is imperative you choose someone who knows what they are doing and has the correct machinery and equipment. An expert watchmaker isn't necessarily a master of refinishing, so look for an expert in the field. Some claim original crystals should be left as is, arguing the replacement can devalue the timepiece. If a crystal is original and in working order, keeping the original will do no harm. However, the crystal is the first line of defense against the elements and if damaged should be replaced. Replacing a damaged crystal with a correct original crystal is good practice as it ensures the dial, hands and movement are protected. Leaving a cracked or damaged crystal can allow moisture or dirt to enter, causing irreparable damage in some cases. If that is allowed to happen, the value of the watch will certainly decline. Original crystals produced by the manufacturer must always be insisted upon to ensure the watch's integrity and longevity, as ill-fitting aftermarket components can cause compromise. Similar to the crystal, gaskets are a crucial line of defense against the outside world. Gaskets must always be changed when restoring a vintage watch, as over the time they can become brittle, crack, flatten and in some cases turn to go. Whether gasket is compromised or not, replacement is always recommended. Certain manufacturers employed lead gasket in past times. If your watch is still fitting with such a gasket, changing for a new rubber gasket would be prudent to ensure the watch keeps the elements out. Thanks for watching, until next time!